You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. Good morning from South Carolina. Just went through... Hurricane Michael went through uh, last night and early this morning. Lots of rain. I mean, I could literally hear it pelting my windows and pelting my house and the water gushing off my, off the top of my uh, roof. But it was, <clears throat> it was an okay experience. I mean, all that we really got was rain. The only problem I have now is that I have no electricity. So I am recording this podcast on my cell phone. And we'll distribute it that way. You know, luckily we have these wonderful apps that allow us to continue on even when everything else is off in, in the house or the office. So I, I am sitting here just uh, in the dark <laughs> because I have nothing. The biggest disaster that I'm facing at the moment is that I can't make coffee. <laughs> that is the first thing I always do in the morning is I go into the kitchen and I make coffee and I sit down and I begin uh, planning out what I'm going to do for my podcast and get going from there. But this morning, I'm kind of in limbo because I don't have my coffee and I really don't know what to talk about. <laughs> talk about. Life is, is funny, isn't it? That when you go through a storm... You have to make sure that you're you, that you're prepared. You know, I've talked about this several different times about every business, every individual should have a disaster plan in place. And they not only should have a disaster plan, but in business you should also have a plan when there is a issue that may hurt your company. And you have to be able to fight it. Not run away from it, but fight it. And I've talked about this because I've had to go through this myself, where things have happened within the company that you've had to address. You've had to address the issues with your clients. You have to address it with your vendors and, and uh, everything else that is affects your company. And I always think that everybody should have a disaster plan. Here at home, I mean... When I, I've gone through three hurricanes now here in my in my house in South Carolina, and I, I'm prepared for it. I have water put away. I always have water put away. I always have extra food put away just in case snacks that I don't have to that I don't have to cook and all those other things that require require um, electricity. So that's what you have to do. Is that in Every part of life, you have to be prepared for some type of issue to pop up that you need to face head on and go forward. It's really easy to run away from things. I mean, it's so easy just to run away from hide. But when you are fighting for your life, you have to fight hard. When you're fighting for your company or your business... You have to fight hard. I know that when <clears throat> a, a few years ago, my company went through went through a a, a really tough situation. It didn't involve anything that I had done or anything that my staff had done. It involved one individual within the company, and that hit us hard. It devastated us, and so. As we were going through all of this, and people were calling the office, and they were yelling at us, and they were screaming at us, and they were calling us all kinds of names, and they were sending us letters that we should never have received. I sat down with my staff. I said, you know what? We're not going to give up on this. We are going to move forward. We're going to make some changes. We're going to communicate everything that we know, and we're going to move forward. 
And no matter what people call us, and no matter what people threaten to do to us, remember, it's not our fault. It's nothing that we have have done. So we can stand tall and we can fight this head on. If people want to fight us, let them fight. But they're fighting against nothing. So we we had to sit down. We had to uh, develop a plan of what we were going to say and what we were going to handle, how we were going to handle people, uh, how do we handle clients and everything else. And at in the end, as we all worked together on this on this issue, we came out. We're still alive. That's been several years ago, but we are still alive. We're still moving forward. We changed our philosophy in business. And we adopted a plan of action that has worked to this day. So my point is, is that within every business, within every family and household, you need to have a disaster plan. We now know through our experience of what we've gone through, if anything should happen again, we know exactly how to group together and go forward. That is vital in every single company. You need to have a disaster plan. And as as this example right here is what I'm doing now. My all my electricity is off, so I can't go into my studio and produce a podcast. But I can from my cell phone because technology has allowed us to adapt. We can adapt to anything and we can solve anything as long as you just put your mind to it and think ahead. Think ahead always. So this is my story uh, today from <laughs> from the from the uh, storm Michael as it goes through. Still cloudy outside. Still some rain coming down. No wind at all. The trees are perfectly okay. But it's just that rain that comes down and causes havoc in in a lot of communities where they are low in the low country. I'm up in the in the mountains, so I'm okay. But always, always have a disaster plan in place so that you have the ability to reach out, you have the, the ability to communicate, and you have the ability to move on in your company and even make it a stronger company. So that's it for today. This is Mike Lodge on the WBT. Send me an email if you have any questions at mlodge, M-L-O-D-G-E, at lodge-co. Dot com. Be more than happy to help you. If you need business uh, coaching, we're here to help you also. Just call our office at 888-681-1518. And that's all that you need to know. <laughs> Talk to you soon. This is Mike Lodge, over and out. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.